Most organizations, when they install CATIA v5, elect to install everything that came with the install media. In other words, they've installed all of the workbenches, not just the workbenches that are licensed in that particular organization. Therefore, if you decide you want to use a new workbench, they don't have to go around to all the machines and put it on the, on the machines, etc., because it's already there. Now, your benefit to that is the fact that you can gain access to it to try some of the workbenches that are present and installed, but that you do not have licenses for. It's done with the restrictions, which we'll talk about here momentarily. So here's a standard installation. If I look at the types of things that I have installed here, I can see that I have basically, or I can see that I have basically an MD2 license with one extension on it. And so I'm working in a relatively restricted environment. But let's say you're talking to a, a coworker, a colleague, whatever, and they say, gee, you know, you're having trouble with that surfacing project. You really should style, you really should try freestyle, uh, which is another workbench above and beyond generative shape design that might be beneficial to you. He or she may actually demonstrate it to you or whatever. Well, you do have access to it. You have access to it in a restricted fashion. And that restriction is that you cannot do anything productive. No output, no external input. And I say external input because you can actually read in documents that are embedded in the help documentation. So let me show you how we get this set up so you can give it a try. If you go to Tools Options on the General section on the left, under the Licensing tab, scoot over to the right and here we have a click box that is normally turned off that says demo mode now a little bit of heads up here your organization if they are very much attuned to administration of CATIA has the ability to inhibit you turning this on so if you have trouble with it don't worry about it that's just the way your administration has decided to handle the potential issue that I'm going to show you here. Not an issue, but they, they, uh, they want to keep this so that you are not looking at other software. If I select this, I will get a dialog box that says, okay, you've made a change. That means you have to reinitialize CATIA. So I simply say, okay, say okay to the tools options, close the CATIA session and just simply restart it. After restarting, let's take a look at what workbenches we now have access to. So, as I said, this is a let me try something out, but make sure that I cannot do it and have productivity from it for my organization. <clears throat> what that means is you cannot open external documents, external to the help documentation, you cannot print, you cannot create PDFs, etc. You cannot save the work that you've done, etc. If you look at the upper left here, you also see that there's a marker here to say that you're in demo mode. That says demonstration. So I'm in CATIA v5 for demonstration. If I go to my start menu now, I have a much more robust list of tools here. If you know the difference between P1, 2, and 3, least robust, normal productivity version P2 and P3, some extended workbenches with very sophisticated tools, you will realize very quickly that this is the full suite of P2, which is exactly the workbench set that I have installed on my machine. So if I go to Shape, I select Freestyle. I'm not familiar with this. The person who told me about it gave me a very brief demo. So I know what's involved, sort of, or what the capabilities are, but I don't really know how to use it at all. So let's select a tool over here on the left. And if I park here, I get Control Points Tool. Select that. 
And if you do not have this ability, I would encourage you to lobby for it in your organization. And that is when you have a command open, or actually when you don't also, if you hit the F1 key and you have a command open, it will automatically put you into the help documentation for that particular command. So here's using control points, and this is the control points dialog. I don't know how to use it. However, if I select selecting control points, and I'm going to scroll down here just a tad past the overview stuff and watch for the changes in color of the text, you'll see here that I have open freestyle part, cat part embedded in the documentation are sample CATIA documents that are the, the documents that were used to create the documentation. Let's go ahead and select that and I'm going to open that file in my CATIA session and I've got three surface elements in this particular file and I'm going to come back to the help documentation and just scroll down a little bit and you'll see that the thing that they're working with here is one of the surfaces in that particular document. So if I go back to my CATIA session, they actually want you to use this particular surface element. I select that and do the control points. And now I have full functionality. And what this allows you to do is go down through this documentation and actually follow the bouncing ball along with the documentation to determine how to use this particular tool. So in summary, what you've got is the ability to take a look at all of the workbenches that have been installed on your machine and or that somebody has recommended you can see if it's installed and if it is, you can turn on this demo mode and make some modifications to a document that is pulled from the help documentation. So that's the only document that you can open. You can open a blank document and work to go through the documentation, but you cannot save it. You cannot print it. You cannot output it in any way, shape, or form, XML, whatever the case may be. And therefore, that limits your productive use of that demo mode. If you're finished looking at it and you say you get let's say you go to your boss and say boy we really need this it would make our work a lot a lot more efficient what you do then is go back to tools options and reverse the process general licensing go to the demo mode click box Unselect it. It says you must restart. Say OK. And now when you close the session and reopen it, you're back in your production environment and you don't have the documentation marker up here on the title bar. And you can do your normal save, open external documents, etc. So it's just an efficient and effective way to take a look at the installed workbenches for which there is no licensing and allow you to actually try out that particular workbench and that particular set of tools to see if it's productive in your env environment. Ergo, the click box being named demo mode. In other words, this kind of internal marketing for the Dassault organization. So you can actually take a look at, at your own volition, you can actually take a look at what's installed on your machine, number one, and number two, get a sense of whether it's going to be a productive tool for you.